Okay, I think I'm about ready to get going. Um, right now I'm going to do... Uh, uh, I'm going to color the cartoon that I uh, drew in the stream last night, Rubio and Cruz. And then after that I think I've got another cartoon. So uh, join me and um, chat and keep me talking. And I will keep drawing. So... This is my Wacom tablet where I am drawing today. You can see the the view of my hand from above my big uh, Cintiq. That's what I'll be doing today. Here's the image I'm working on. Got Rubio and uh, the Donald there behind us. Just a second. Let me make sure I'm set up here. Correctly. Another couple of couple of minutes and I'm all set up. Sorry, I should have done this first. Okay, there, I just reset my stats. That's working. Okay. So, send me some interesting chat and I'm off to draw. All right. So, this is wine art. 1000 DPI, I think. Yeah, I got it right. All right. That's how I how I save my line art. It's a it's just a stupid joke, but uh, I got to draw Donald Trump's hair looking like an airplane, and that amused me. Okay. So let's save as. We'll first save, and then let's save as Rubio Trump 400 DPI. CMYK. Now I can futz with it. So we'll make it grayscale, and we'll make it CMYK. I already cleaned up the hickeys in here. I think we're ready to go. Let me know if you have any trouble with the video and Twitch. I'm, oh, sorry, I'm going to move the, the microphone. It'll be noisy. Hold, plug your ears. <laughs> Which froze on me there. Okay. Which is still looking frozen. Let me know if you guys are having any trouble. Oh, actually, it looks like it's working okay. Okay, we're good. Alright, over here. I need to... Select a similar color. And let's see what color we've got there. It's this garbage collection of all this junk. So let's go 0, 0, 0, 100. I want the black line to be 100. And we're going to delete. Oh, it's locked. Delete. Oops, that deleted the wrong thing. Select inverse. Delete. Now we're going to fill with this nice 100 and see if that holds. Looks like it worked. Let's just double check. Yeah, now let's select the inverse. The inverse, delete that, and we'll add a bunch of layers. Come on, 
add the layers. Image mode, CMYK, okay. Return, return. Now let's add layers. I add as many layers as I have room for in the rectangle. One more. Then I shall put the black line up at the top. And select multiply so that the colors print underneath it. Then the bottom layer shall be all white. Let's double check that that's all white. It is. All and fill. Okay. Now I'll save that. Have a drink of my Flint, Michigan water. we're good to go. So what color do I want to make this? I usually like to make things like a yellow or orange background because I get a lot of intensity without having um, a lot of value. Um, but uh, that often doesn't go as well as I would like with the Donald's hair. This one could be bright red if I wanted to go crazy. Why don't we try it? Let's be bold today. Let's do a do a red background. What do you think? Go with uh, red. Big. bigger. So no one has anything to say to me today. You guys are quiet. All right, opacity, let's make it uh, 50. Let's see what we think. Editors actually like big strong blots of color with editorial cartoons. I've gotten uh, Complaints from editors when I use um, browns and grays. They go to the trouble to have color in their paper. They want color, by God. See a little bit of lag in the Photoshop today. Hello, Dewifa. Nice to see you there. You came because of the tweet, huh? I almost didn't do the tweet. I haven't really noticed people uh, responding to the tweet. I didn't announce it on Facebook today. Capacity 55. Let's go a little bigger with this. Oh, I didn't bring it down to 400 dpi, did I? Image size, 400 dpi. I forgot to do that. So give it a minute. Anyway, thanks for coming on, Dewifa. Give him a little bit of uh, continuity here in the color. Uh, seeing some holidays there. Okay, 55. A little smaller. I like to have this kind of a break on the edges. down a bit, drop this up a bit. Let's just have a little more texture going on everywhere. Put 
this looking a little spongier, texturier. I can add some uh, some red to the mix. Let's do that. Opacity up to 27. go that seems like a bold background huh so I'm gonna need to give them some flesh tone to start let's go with that Go, let's say 3, 20, 20. That's a light flesh base for the Donald. The Donald's light flesh base. That's going to be 100 because I can't have that red showing through. Look how the reflecting light makes my face redder. That's interesting. So I've got my face right in front of this big red monitor. Well, that looks just looks like white, doesn't it? Let's give it a little more. Let's make it four twenty-five, twenty-five. Interesting that the the red washed out the flesh tone. I'll come back and add some darkers in here. Dewifa writes, your coloring videos are more interesting than I thought they'd be. Watching the drawing is best, but I do like the coloring as well. Well, good. I spend more time coloring my editorial cartoons than I think most people do. If I was being messy about it, I would uh, use the airbrush tool more and... Uh, not worry about being close to the outlines. My tendency is to overwork things and I need to watch myself when I do that. Overworked is bad, and that is my constant battle. Battle with overworked. Look how much fleshier it looks against the white than the red right next to it. Okay, let's give him some more... Uh, Thirty-five, thirty-five. How's that look? Let's see how that's doing over here. Hardness goes soft. Master diameter goes down. Opacity goes to fit thirty-eight percent. Nope, needs more than that, doesn't it? Let's try that. Oh, that's a little better. 
just needs some range there. I'm gonna bring it down a little. Let's go uh, 30. Uh, let's go 40. 40. What's that? Gordy 40 is really pretty severe, but it's got it's fighting this uh, red background. Luifa writes, are you self-taught in digital Photoshop skills or did you seek instruction? Well, I am self-taught. And I have gone to coloring seminars. For example, at uh, Comic-Con every year, they have lovely coloring seminars, the comic book guys. And they're really very instructive. But um, I'm just uh, a lot sloppier than those guys even though it seems like I'm doing more than most cartoonists do here. Let's bring that up, bring that down. Oop, that's too much. Uh, those guys are really very careful with their, uh, their layers and their structure, and they use lots of uh, Lots of um, masks. I don't use any masks. That's too anal for me. People like to make Donald Trump orange. I haven't noticed him being particularly needing orange. All right, let's bring this down a little bit. I don't like it. Pink up the cheeks. Ear. Ooh, that's too much. Drop that back. How'd that get up there? Rubio. Let's say Rubio is five thirty. 26, yeah, 26, as his base, base color for hot rubio. Fascinating how that reacts to the red. It's so rare that I do a bright red background that I don't think about how it affects the stuff around it to bleach out the red in the flesh tone. And I'm guessing it's not going to have as much of an effect in print as it does here on my monitor as it's shining the red on my face look how red my face is this is big super tuesday so what interests me about Super Tuesday is that this is the day that 
Donald Trump raises himself to the level of uh, being a crisis for the Republicans. They're going to need to do something drastic to stop the guy. And uh, maybe out of their ability. I should probably put the gray suits in too. General rule in coloring is color everything first where you know what the color that it has to be. And I'm doing flesh tones where they don't have to be a particular color. But I know that I gotta draw a gray suit on the guy, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's give it uh, some color and some, well, let's go with uh, 30, 30, 30. Give him a CMY gray suit. That's going to run cold. It's going to look around this red as though it's got a lot more cyan in it. But that's okay. The reason for doing CMY rather than just going in there and typing 50K is that this way. I get these nice 100k lines to print clean and crispy on top of the gray color, whereas if I'm using 50% of K and printing 100k lines on top of that, I'm losing some of the power of the black. And these black overriding lines can really be quite nice, uh, crispy and defining if you don't punch them back by uh, using a bunch of gray elsewhere. You, using a bunch of uh, the K channel black elsewhere in the coloring. I'm guessing that made sense. We've got 12 people here, 12 very quiet people, except for Dawifa. I think I'll make Donald's suit a little more blue. I don't want both suits to be just the same. This one shouldn't take too long to color. The next cartoon that I'm going to draw this afternoon is uh, a Republican elephant that's uh, shattering like a pane of glass because all the news today with Super Tuesday, which I expect to be Donald Trump winning big, is going to have the effect of causing some breakup kind of talk among the Republicans. They've got an existential crisis going on. They don't like the Donald. The Donald is not going to come into office and treat it like uh, the party time that the Republicans come to expect when they win a presidential election and they get to grab all of the spoils of political appointments. His political appointments, I'm guessing, are likely to be not that Republican partisan, which is a good thing, and uh, again, existential crisis for those Republicans. So that's one of the things I like about Donald Trump is his uh, not being that much of a party animal. Okay, there's the gray suit for Marco. Let's give the little bit more um, blue-gray suit to 
to the Donald. So let's say we've got this for Rubio, 30, 30, 30. Let's make it uh, 50, 30, 30 for the Donald. That should be enough of a difference to define him as being different than uh, Rubio. I'm just getting the edges so I can come back through with a bigger brush and fill the insides. If any of you haven't followed me before, I would really very much appreciate a follow. I'm trying, I think I'm the only editorial cartoonist who's live streaming his drawings. And, uh,. I feel like I've got the burden of proof of concept here. If Daryl can make it work, then it works. Daryl doesn't make it work. Why the heck should I try that? Daryl didn't make it work. So I'm the proof of concept guy. Gotta see if we can gather an audience of enough size to be of interest to editors such that cartoonists will uh, be motivated to do the extra work. Seeing as cartoonists are typically interested in just sitting in their cubicle, finishing their cartoon, and not being forced to do other stuff that newspapers like to demand they do, like videos and blogs. And I get it, you know, you're a cartoonist because you want to draw your cartoons. Hello, Lily Bean. Nice to see you here. So, Lily Bean, I see you here a lot. Are you uh, a cartoonist? What kind of work do you do? Are you a man or a woman? Lily is a woman's name, but Lily Bean might not be. Anyway, so after this, I'm going to do the fractured elephant. And I've been kind of thinking about how I should draw a fractured elephant. And I, because, you know, it's not something I've drawn before. And I think what I'm going to do is draw him on the rough sketch like I always do. Oh, you're a legal clerk woman, and your name is Lee. Well, very nice to meet you, Lee. So do you keep the um, keep the Twitch stream going while you're doing your uh, legal work at the office, Lily Bean? Seems like a nice thing to have going in the legal office. So the shattered elephant, I'm going to draw him and then cut the piece of paper up. <laughs> oh, good. So the bosses are tolerant of cartoons, huh? Let's go down here. Now I'm going to give the Donald some uh, shade in his suit. That up, bump that down. There we go. Opacity 38 looks good. No, it doesn't. Bump it up. Now it's going to need a little bit of black in it, anyway, isn't it? I wanted to avoid that. Just gave a little sermon on how you should avoid that. And there I go. All layer 6, 7. Why is that not showing up? Select all. 
return, return, return. It's not showing up. What am I doing wrong here? Did I make a small selection? Did I have another window open? What am I doing wrong here? Select color. Bring it down to there. Okay. Paint. Why is... Oh, it is showing up. It's on the wrong layer. Oh, it is on the wrong layer. I drew, drew that up at the top layer for some stupid reason. Hello, Victoria7. I'm doing well today. It's nice to see the regulars. Starting to have uh, people I recognize. They're here all the time. That's really very nice. There's the Donald. So how are you? I'm fine. Let's give Rubio some darker. This is just General suit detail. It shall go unnoticed, I'm sure. So I'm going to draw the elephant and I'm going to figure out where I want the cracks to be and then I'm gonna cut it out with a scissors and find it. Oh, I have to find a glue stick. Glue stick it onto another piece of paper and then um, cut it out and we'll see how that goes. Sixty-one percent, hundred percent. You noticed how Rubio's eye on our right, his left, is round and has a big eyelid, while his eye on our left, his right, is not round at all and doesn't have an eyelid, visible eyelid. He's got a uh, this. Uh, flat thing going on. Now I find that interesting. He's got wonky eyes. Drop that down to there. See how this looks. of uh, shade. Dewefa writes, do you find that you talk out loud to yourself more now that you have this live video project? <laughs> I've had to train myself to uh, talk to myself. And um, I find that when I uh, when I stop doing the video for a little bit afterwards, I'm still kind of in my talk all the time mode. You know, I've, I've read about these uh, 
British and Australian actors like uh, that guy on the Billion Show. Uh, guys that you're surprised to see have these strong have who have uh, you know perfect American accent, but they're uh, um, they're um, they've got really got a, a strong British or Australian accent, and they just speak in strong American accent for the whole day or for all the weeks that they're on the set being an American because they can't switch back and forth and be as good at it and uh, kind of the same with this uh, constant talking to yourself like a madman you can kind of see how the madmen go mad and then they keep uh, talking to themselves because you get into the habit to uh, talk to yourself and then it goes uh, on its own all right Sick Vic writes, is that a Jewish caricature? Legit question. Not to me, it isn't. Um, I don't know what you mean by a Jewish caricature. Neither of these guys is Jewish. There is a great tradition of Jewish cartoonists. I'm not sure it's a tradition. Just a bunch of great Jewish cartoonists. All right, let's bump this all the way up and do some darker detail. That wasn't enough. Hello, Capslog OMG. Nice to see a new person here. I don't recall having seen you before. I need for you to go uh, follow me. I have no new follows today. There, that's a, give him a little hair shade, huh? From that big airplane. And, um. No, I don't see anything, uh, anything anti-Semitic or even an allusion to anything Jewish going on here. I do have a Jewish uh, cartoonist friend, Uri Fink, who tells me he makes a point of always drawing Jews with the tiniest noses. And uh, I can say that I haven't put a lot of thought into that. Don't know why that's on your mind today. Let's bump that down a little bit in that the other direction. We'll give them their colors. This uh, coloring job is going to be done pretty quick, and I'll be moving on to my shattered uh, elephant. Nice to see you here for the first time, Caps Log. Yes, please do follow me. I'm going to color this puppy, and then... Oh, thank you very much. Um, then I'm going to uh, draw that shattered elephant cartoon. Uh, well, let's give, let's give Trump a little bit of hair color. Let's call it, uh, three and twelve. Put it on layer eight. And we'll have to just give it a little bit of, uh, hair base color. In his hair airplane, his hair force one. point of this cartoon is just to uh, to enjoy their taunts. Anyway, thank you for uh, being here with, for the first time, Caps. I 
I have complained about Donald Trump's hair before on other live streams because the cartoonists play with it is not that much like his real hair which is a wisp it's just a cloud a funny little cloud it doesn't really have the definition of hairs like you want to draw with line and crosshatch as a cartoonist it's just a wisp a poof a bit of a poof Okay, let's give his poof a little bit of uh, color here. Door to Art. Door to Art, you're new here too. I haven't seen you before. Thank you for joining us. And please also follow. I appreciate the follow. Door to Art writes, First of all, congratulations on the artistic job, not only for the great drawing and coloring, but for the powerful content itself. I believe we're a little bit quiet because it's a moment to appreciate, especially when it's the first time I see you working on a project. Ah! I think I love you, Door to Art. I love all the kind words. Oh, I haven't quite decided how to do his hair so I'll uh, go back to these things that I already know what to do I know he's got a white sleeve here and not over there oh thank you door to art very nice I appreciate the follow oh, let's give Donald a red tie I usually avoid red ties because they stand out too much but it's not going to stand out with this red background is it Now, Donald's hair. Let's go with... Dawifa writes, as, For as many cheap shots as Trump has made about the appearance of others, have the others taken any shots at his hair? It would be such an easy target for him. Well, you know, Rubio was making hair jokes. So he made the Hair Force One joke. And Donald said the biggest ears I've ever seen. I'm not... Make, I don't make this stuff up. This is what they said. 7, 14, 40. That looks good. Soften that up. Make it a little bigger. Yeah, they've been uh, coming back at the Donald with... Uh, with hair jokes. Another one that they do a lot is the his little hands. And uh, I haven't noticed his hands being so particularly little. But that's one I'm hearing a lot. I'm going to put some white texture on here. Bring that down. Opacity up. So some white texture on this plane. Soften him up a little bit. Get a little bit of a softer edge going on him. Soften up that uh, color I just put in there. Now let's give him a little bit of a yellow. Opacity way down. 22, let's put that up a little bit. Since the hair is so strange, I'm reluctant to uh, uh, that's too low I'm reluctant to color it in with a flat color because um, you know it's a cloud it's a poof it is but a mist that hangs about his head So I want to get his color to be more oddly textural. Let's go with a little bit of orange. These are um, these are 
uh, sponge textures that I made myself from a real sponge. So uh, unique to Daryl texture, but you know, just scan a sponge, dip it ink and scan a sponge, find a good spot, and that's your sponge texture. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, orange highlight on. Let's have a new layer. Label it like I'm a good comic book cartoonist. Well, let's go with a little bit more yellow. I have to go a little heavier with his funny hair color because of that red background that I went with. Let's, uh, I'm going to grab some of this shady color, dark it down a bit. Go back here, give them a little bit of in the shadow, bottom of the airplane. There! That's his airplane. I think I'm done with his hair. Now let's get a little bit of eyebrow color. I have to be a little bit crude with some of these colors because uh, this is newspaper printing, you know? bumping the microphone, which sounds like nothing to me, but I'll bet it sounds like a boom to you guys. <sighs> Is that looking okay? Oh, I forgot one of his... Uh, cuffs. Give it a little bit of, uh, well, take some of that out. I'm going to go to white capacity hardness. Bring it up a little bit. It's five. All right, I'm going to take some ground. Oops, what did I do there? Take some ground out of this. And I'll put in some brown ground. That's my opacity, 29%, 46. Pleased with that. Now, what did I just do wrong there? Let's put another layer in here. I see why the comic book guys are so methodical about their layers. Because they've got so much more to deal with on each page than I have in one little image. I watch those guys work and I think, uh, clean your room, go do the dishes, do your housekeeping, have better habits. Okay. Now I can do the speech balloons. And what show? Oh, I should give them a little bit of white on their faces. See how that shows up. I'm going to put in another layer because I don't remember what I did on the other layers. And we will take Rubio color, go lighter, and 
see what we got going on here. 25, 33, all right. A little bit of a lighter forehead. A little bit of light detail. work on the Donald, did it? He needs to be much lighter. Alright, Rubio needs his eyeballs. Okay, speech balloons. Well, if I make them light yellow, that's going to compete with the Donald's hair. If I make them white, they're probably going to take the less the least attention, huh? I think I'll do that. I'm just going to make them white. Because I don't want them to uh, overpower the uh, to overpower the art. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a quick black and white version. I'm not quite sure how this is going to look in black and white. I may need to fiddle with it for a bit. I'm going to send that out to the newspapers and then come back and start on the next one. So there will be a little bit of a break after I finish the black and white version of this. But I shall return after that. Not much of a break. And in case you're wondering, this is uh, this is what I'm doing. I'm drawing on my Wacom tablet like this, and uh, everything is bigger than you think it is. I draw pretty big. The Cintiq is fairly big. Alright, am I done with this friggin' cartoon? I could keep fiddling on things forever. That's one of the things I'm bad about, is fiddling on things forever. I think. Donald's got a little spot going on here that needs to be dealt with. That spot was too much. When did I start using technology door to our rights? Well, I started it as soon as it was available. Ooh, I had uh, my first uh, serious computer was an Apple IIe back in the 80s, around 1980 something, early 80s, and then I got a, I got, I think it was the second Mac, the Fat, fat Mac, the 512K Mac around 1985. Are we done here? Is this done? I think it's done. I don't think I need to do anything more. On the 
save that. And we'll, uh, excuse me while I run around my clouded, uh, crowded desktop putting this away. Apologies for, uh, again, the housekeeping. And this will be what number will this be? One oh nine nine. Save. Okay. And we will flatten it. And I will save it as a JPEG. Nine, let's say. Let's see how that came out. Three point seven. I might need for it to be an eight. Oh, three point three. That's okay. I've got a three point five meg size limit on my uh, email protocol. Because if you email too large a file, uh, sometimes the client's emails will reject it. So let's let's close that. Here's my scans. You can see how dirty everything was. Close that. Open. Now, back to my thing with all of the nice layers. Now let's just see what it looks like in grayscale. Just take a look. Don't merge, just look. Well, that is much too dark. I could go back to just the line art and put in gray. I think I'm going to try that. Don't say open. Okay, here's the nice line art. You know, I think I might just put in the line art without any gray as a black and white version. This one's holding up okay. I'm going to do it. Save as. I know the editors are probably going to print the color one in gray just because they like tone. But I prefer a good line drawing. Oops, okay. Check this, that was 806K, and that should be 1099B, Rubio Trump, 1000 DPI line, TIFF, okay. That's good. All right, so what I think is going to happen here is uh, I'm going to email these two cartoons out to the editors, and then I shall return and um, I'll draw the elephant that's shattering. Here you can see my Wacom tablet, my hands in the dark. I need to light the room up as well. So let's do that. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to my I'm going to go to the timer 
I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes. That should give me time to send this out and get set up for the next uh, cartoon. So join me again in 15 minutes, and we will uh, do the next cartoon. Back in a minute. Don't go away. Still working on sending this out and getting set up for the next part. Have patience. Thanks for your patience.
Okay, now I've turned on the lights. I'm getting set to draw on the table here. Let me just make sure that I'm all set up. Ooh, I'm too dark. Let's fix that. Sorry. Change things around and I got to adjust. That's a little better. And let's, uh, oops, my blue slot back and adjust for all the lights that are on here now. Am I brighter than I need to be? Maybe I am. Maybe that's good enough. Sorry, that's stuff I usually do before I come on. Okay. That's probably bright enough, huh? There, that's a little better. Now, I don't need that right there. So this shall be the shattering elephant. Still sending out these cartoons in the background. So what do I want to do with this elephant? You know, I haven't really thought this through at all. So let's go to a post-it note. So on the post-it note, what, uh, I don't want the elephant to be something like this. Maybe I want a nose up there getting broken into bits. A little bit of angry. No, I don't think I do. I think the nose needs to come down here. And then I need some cracks. Breaking him up in this direction to make him wider. And I'm going to actually cut it. So that I get my relationships right once I've cracked them up. All right, that's all the thinking I need to do. Let's get this puppy done. So I'm drawing him uncracked now. an angry elephant. I needed to get that cartoon out just then because it's four o'clock Pacific time. I'm right at the deadline for the West Coast papers to get a cartoon like that. The East Coast papers are already closed, but it was good for the West Coast. The Weaver writes, are you going to make any no actual animals who were injured in the making of this drawing disclaimer? I need it to be, uh, editorial cartoon size is one and a half wide by one tall, generally. And uh, so I'm going to break him out just a little bit. Not a whole lot of space between the bits.
just general layout here where the shattered elephant should go. I think I may give him pinstripes because that'll tie him together a little cleaner. I'm drawing an extra hard pencil, extra light, and I should come back in and darken up and catch my s sure how I'm going to handle the cracks. Figure that out as I do it, I guess. Hey, if you want to see any of my past videos, see how I drew the, the past cartoons, go to DarylKagel.com click on one of the recent cartoons since I've been streaming the last couple months and uh, except for the most recent one with Donald Trump planting the flag which doesn't have a video the other ones all have videos so you can see me drawing everything Thinking of the actual shapes of his teeth. Getting the four square ones in the front and the canines, then the molars. Alright, this shoulder is going to need the. suit wrinkles. This one needs to shoot suit wrinkles to go out that way. Okay. You guys have all gone silent. Now I've got to remember my directions. Or the pinstripes as he is breaking apart. Because these parts are going to be separate. have all gone silent. I was getting some comments there for a while.
I may just scotch tape this down, not worry about the glue stick, since I don't know where the glue stick is. I've been using scotch tape lately because uh, for some reason it's here and I know where it is and I should be using the low tech uh, drafting tape. Oh, thank you for the kind words, Victoria. This is just a quick layout. He is cracking up. So once I have him laid in looking uh, angry and splayed, I will Cut them up with the scissors. Do I have the scissors? I do! With the scissors. I will uh, cut them up and stick them on another piece of paper. And that'll be my layout for him being. Uh... Oh, thanks for the cap, uh, the kind words, caps lock. And then this next piece of paper is going to be. his uh, breakup. So this is a simple cartoon, but I'm expecting the the national conversation during the next week to being uh, about the possible breakup of the Republican Party and uh, what can we do to stop Trump, how the party's going to be. Uh, am I going to use shattered glass reference for the cracks? Well, I hadn't thought of that. Maybe that's a good idea. Shattered glass reference. Let me give that a try. over here and I will uh, oh hey in case you're wondering this is my uh, my control page for sending out the emails to the newspapers shattered glass images let's see how that looks images for shattered glass Oh, they like to do shattered glass against black, don't they? I'm going to see the shatters as white against black. I hadn't thought about that. I'm not sure I like these shatters. They're all bullet holes. Notice that? Almost all of them bullet holes. Okay, let's. I'm going to think of where the shatters go here. You made me look at my reference. drawing. So I think he's going to need he's going to need a crack. Where should the cracks emanate from? And I need to think of where the pinstripes are going. So those are just pinstripe guides.
just to remember the way the pinstripes are going when I have uh, broken them up into into bits and the pinstripes are going to be going in different directions based on where the cracks are. Good for me to put a little reference into here of where the pinstripes should go in case I forget. Oh, your 11-year-old son is one of my fans, Door to Art. Excellent. Is he forced to study edito editorial cartoons in school? That's my best audience, the kids that are forced to do it for homework. Okay, kind of looks like a gangster with the broad pinstripes, huh? Those are just for my guidance. Trump wins Georgia primary, according to Fox, on my watch. That's what I like to see. Drama. Okay, there he is. A little more tie there. The cracks. Well, I want to have him... Uh, Looking at that scrap made me think of cracking him a little more dif differently from down here. I think I'll leave his eyes intact, huh? see if that works for cracks. So I'll grab another piece of paper and I will grab my tape and we'll see if this plan works. I'm not sure it will. It might be getting a little too big for the paper. Okay. Let's go with this big crack here. bit. Guess he's not going to be quite falling off the floor, huh? So we can hit, we can break him. Uh, This is a technique that's only going to work once on one cartoon.
guys are all silent. Hello, Bardener. Nice to see you here. First time I've seen you here. I need for you to follow me, Bardener. Needing more follows here. I'd appreciate it. that. This thing's getting bigger. That hand needs to come up a little bit. in mind this is something I've never done before shattered elephant is there let's break that down to there that go. Let's see how confused I can get here. That went there. All right. Hello, need to grab. Nice to see you from Russia. Where are you in Russia? I got his feet a little farther apart than I expected. And his left arm is farther down than I thought it would be. Here's that little part of his... I'm 
myself here that I think I'm probably going to lose. Put another piece in like that. And this arm can come down a little too. I'll give it another piece like that. Okay, is this a um, need to grab rights? I'm clearly not. I'm clearly from. I'm not clearly from Russia. Did you heard about Don Bass? No, I don't know about Don Bass. And you're not clearly from Russia. It's just that you given a shout out to Russia. He can have more cracks going on than where he's actually separated. Now, I can give little hints of his body inside. So, little bits of uh, bloody flesh things happening here. Okay, am I laid out appropriately for the broken elephant? The shattered elephant. <laughs> Curl the fingers, you think? Yeah, curled fingers are better. I'll go with that. Good, good. Excuse me. Okay, folks, this is the Shattered Elephant. The arms are getting longer than I expected. Maybe that's not bad. Throw my garbage away, and I will get a piece of uh, vellum put on top of here. And draw this puppy. Not sure I like it yet. Let's see if I want to give him a little more lift at the top. Cartoon Man, nice to see you here. Okay, this elephant is shattered. Let's see what we can do. And I'm just going to start drawing from right to left, right to left, because. Uh, I'm left-handed, and so it, I don't drag my hand through it that much. Well, 
lots of good Republican drama happening today. Those, uh... Those establishment Republicans do not like people doing things that they are not supposed to. So, will we see... Hillary Clinton projected to win Georgia and Virginia. <laughs> this election is turning out to be a good cartoonist election. Thank you, cartoon man. A shattered elephant is what I'm drawing. And I'm not quite sure how it's going to come out. They have not drawn something shattered like this before. But I give it a shot. See what happens. I haven't also quite decided whether I'm going to draw the pinstripes. I'm guessing I'm going to draw the pinstripes. But I might not. Might be too much going on to do the pinstripes. Pinstripes just might be uh, overkill. Just figuring it out as I go along. There's no real road map to this one. The shattered parts can be made up. One thing I'm going to try to do is have the cross hatching go in a direction to emphasize the shatter. So just kind of guessing, and I'm dealing a little bit with uh, the duality of the three-dimensional form versus the shatter, which is based on a on a like a pane of glass shatter, which wouldn't have the three-dimensionality.
guys are so silent. So I'm, uh, I'm compromising here between uh, what would be three-dimensional elephant and pane of glass elephant. And I haven't got in my mind exactly how those two work themselves out together. Door to Art writes, unfortunately, we must leave for swimming lessons. However, we'd like to know how frequently you stream. Um, I usually do two or three cartoons a week. I'm thinking of uh, starting to do some uh, traditional illustration work in addition to my editorial cartoons. And if I do, that will uh, uh, that'll get me drawing a little more often. Problem I have is that I'm... Uh, I wear too many hats. I'm also the guy who runs the Cable Cartoons newspaper syndicate, which takes a good deal of business time. So I spend a lot of not really drawing time doing things like uh, paying the royalties. Klingon Warrior, nice to see you here again. Was about to go to bed until I saw you stream up. Thank you, sir. Good reason not to go to bed, huh? It's nice to see the same faces showing up. Same... Uh, the same usernames showing up. You guys are good regulars. I appreciate that. I think I'm not going to be able to do pinstripes because the thing is just too complex that if I do that I'm going to lose where I'm at. I'm going to need to think too regarding the color of uh, how graphic I want to be with um, the, the blood guts flesh that is a natural uh, part of these uh, exposed bits. See, I've got little bits of exposed uh, bone inside of his arm there in that view. figured that out. New things that I'm not quite used to drawing going on here because this is a strange one. Strange one, but it's going pretty fast.
cartoon man. Have you ever changed your mind on an issue or a candidate based on a political cartoon you've seen? Well, I haven't thought about that before. I don't think I've got a good ready-made answer for you. Oh, well, that's a good question your daughter asked, Cartoon Man. I just uh, don't really know the answer. There must be something that's changed my mind that I've seen. I've uh, changed my mind based on user comments a couple of times. Soon they're getting results in the other Super Tuesday states. I've got the TV on mute. Now before I was doing these streams, I would have the TV on all the time. And uh, get ideas from watching TV and know just what the news is. And right now, I don't do that anymore. silently on mute the other side of the room I'm gonna turn my head to look at it not that way <laughs> you now I start getting into some uh, issues where uh, oh your door to art made a deal with his wife she's taking the kids so door to art can watch my shattered elephant get finished oh, very good kind of anticipating that Shattered Elephant is going to be the theme of the news tomorrow in the wake of the Super Tuesday results, which I'm guessing are going to be very Trumpy.
So you can see why I gave up in the pinstripes, because I needed the, the crosshatch to um, re-emphasize what's going on with the shattering. I don't think I'm going to have any shatter going on with the foot because that's just a little too complex. You need the foot to give him uh, dimensionality, let you know that he's got his weight on the ground. And I could lose that by shattering his foot. So I'm going to avoid shattering the foot. Keep the on the ground aspect of the foot. So, I'm going through them pretty fast, I think. El Cap Winthy second. Nice to see you here, El Cap Winthy. Please go uh, follow me if you would, LCAF. I would appreciate that. Nice to see a new, uh, a new user viewer here. Don't hesitate to uh, comment and ask questions. So a big issue is going to be, do I give him red blood and guts in all of these cracks? And I haven't quite decided whether I'm going to do that or not. That might be just a little bit too nasty. When they get too nasty, the editors don't print them. They say, ew. So I might not do it. <laughs> oh, Al Capone. The second. Okay. This may be another one that I want to release as a line art rather than putting tone into it. I haven't decided that either. 
Oh, so Al Cap, you need a comment for a school project? Okay, shoot. What can I comment on for you? Comic or a cartoon? That's your question? Comic or a cartoon? Well, let's go with cartoon. <laughs> Anyone going against gun control? Have anyone going against gun control? Do I have any cartoons that are against gun control? I think you'll find that the conservative cartoonists are uh, pretty consistently against gun control. So if you're looking at Kegel.com, look for um, look for uh, Rick McKee and Michael Ramirez. The guys you expect to be uh, the most conservative. There was a cartoonist who's retired now, Wayne Stasekel, who was the most anti-gun control of any cartoonist you'd ever see. And he would draw that like every other cartoon. Some hilarious stuff. And a whole lot of them were just variations on... Uh, burglar in the house shoot him in fact um, you know most cartoonists are are liberal and would be pro-gun control and Stasekel drew so many uh, pro-gun cartoons that uh, I put up a big section of um, Stasekel versus the rest of the cartoonists on gun control back in the MSNBC days. So, Al Cap, take your time, write your full question. You know, the delay in the stream is what keeps you from hearing me for 40 seconds or so. It doesn't affect what you write in chat.
You guys are too quiet. Checking the YouTube stream, which looks like it's having some trouble. Am I looking okay on Twitch? Because my Twitch froze. I like to make sure everything's okay. Looks like the stream's okay on YouTube. Okay on Twitch. I guess it's okay. Yeah, cartoon man, no caption on this one. Just shattered elephant. They're better with no words. All good on the stream? Good, good, good. Yeah, I had to reboot over here. I was losing my stream on uh, both YouTube and Twitch. So problems on my end, good to know. Not a problem with the broadcast. So, L Cap, did you have a did you have a question for me that you wanted to more fully uh, explain? Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this as line art not give him any tone. Oh, Cap writes, well, my school is having my whole class question on our stances on gun control. Personally, I'm against it, and I'm here to find a cartoon that supports me. Hmm. Um. Go to politicalcartoons.com. Search for keyword gun. Look through them. Most of the cartoons will be, uh liberal and pro-gun control but you'll find a couple conservative ones in there cartoon man writes i keep hearing david letterman's window shattering sound effect as i look at this cartoon good good
good. Hey Peg, I'm broadcasting now. What can I do for you? You need to go right now? Well, folks, I'm afraid I'm going to have to finish this. I'm going to finish this later tonight, but I have to go drive uh, wife to the airport and grab some dinner. So uh, I've got half of a shattered elephant here. And, um, I will, uh, I will return to finish him up and color him. And, uh, thank you for, for sticking with me. And this shall, uh, shall be continued. shall come back and finish this shattered elephant. This evening. So, um, hey everybody. Thank you so much. The shattered elephant that you uh, are seeing here shall be uh, completed this evening. And uh, I will come back, and I'm not quite sure when, but it will be tonight. And I appreciate uh, everyone coming by and watching me do this. And we'll, we'll get the shattered elephant out in time for his actual shattering, which I expect will happen tomorrow as they digest these election returns that are so difficult to swallow. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you for the kind words, Victoria7. Um, and uh, I, will, uh, I will see you guys soon and finish the Shattered Elephant before uh, moving on to the next thing. Next thing will be coloring the Shattered Elephant. And... Oh, thank you, Doy to Art. <laughs>